Woo! Here we go. Hey, what's up, everyone? As you can see, I'm with my favorite person right here. That would be me. <laughs> and we're about to play the kind of sort of newlywed game. Yeah, I mean, we'll call it like the two years, two years and three months in. Yeah, we're game. two years and three months in. Let's see how well we know each other. We're actually gonna get a bunch of questions, and we're gonna write down our answers on these beautiful marble boards right here. And then we are gonna compare the answers. It's all in fun. Let's see how this goes. Don't get competitive. He says the most competitive person <laughs> on earth. Okay, I feel like you're really close to me and you're gonna copy my answers. So move over there. I thought it was all in fun. Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, okay, hold on. Wait, I need to prepare. Okay, ready for the first question? I am. Where is, why are you already writing? I didn't even ask the question yet. Okay, where did we go on our first date? Don't copy me. Damn, I forgot the name of the place. Wait, 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 wait. Where did we go on our first date? I know the answer. What did you put? I put the stinking rose in Beverly Hills. That is true. I said the stinking rose. It's actually a restaurant here in Beverly Hills. Yep. It's a garlic themed restaurant. Which is really strange because you wouldn't think you'd go on a first date to like a garlic themed restaurant so we could both be like, garlic breathed out. It was one of those, we know we're not gonna kiss on the first date. Yeah, and we'd nice. already been, we like knew each other for yeah. years before that, so it wasn't like, oh, a formal, it was the first time actually we ever went anywhere by ourselves to sit that's, down and eat. That's true. Okay, wait, do you remember what I wore? Or do you remember, okay, I'm gonna put what you wore and you write down what I, put down both. Really, how writing? much did I have on? <laughs> wait, okay, go, what did you say? I wrote You're, black dress. I definitely did not have on a black dress. I had on a sweatsuit from work. And you had on denim on denim. Of course I had denim on denim. I was wearing my standard uniform. Exactly, but I definitely, have, what made you think I had on a black dress? I don't know. What kind of first date did you think this was? Where was our first kiss? Here we go. I know this one. No, 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 don't change it. Don't change it, see? See, you're a cheater, don't do that. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Just put what you put. Exactly. All right. Exactly. So here we will now reveal our answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, two, three. You're supposed to reveal. In Mexico. Word? Well, I, I feel like we should define the kiss. Cause like, on your Are balcony. Are you asking for like tongue, no tongue? Well, I mean, that's saying a lot right now. For, okay, for this a daytime is, show. So this is, people can watch this at any time they want, late in the midnight hours <laughs> on their computers. But they're so watching in the daytime. <laughs> Comment below if it is daytime yeah, or, nighttime or nighttime while you are watching this. There was, Let there, us was know. there was a simple kiss. A yeah, it was a tap simple, kiss. Simple, I consider that a kiss. And I do too. Well, clearly you don't, you said well, Mexico. In Mexico. Israel was... only counts it as a kiss if you're like, Making out. <laughs> we made out for the first time in, in Mexico. Mexico. So it happened actually on our balcony the first time. He used to live downstairs. I was apartment 420, he was apartment 220. I lived on the penthouse floor. At some point, we were sitting on the balcony and I went like, I was cold and we were sitting by the fire pit and I went like this. Well, it was more like this. Whoa, ma'am, ma'am. Be comfortable. I was like this and then I was like this. Then I was like, that. That's exactly how, except for your arm wasn't all awkward like this. Can you so, be normal? I wasn't holding a <laughs> thing either. I'm getting into it, people, okay? This is the reenactment. <laughs> and I was all like that, with the hair just like And I'm not gonna that. lie, for a tap kiss, it was still amazing. Right? I felt like it was beautiful. What people need to Do you to hate know? me right now because I have lip plumper on? It, it's, I'll fill it in a minute. All right, next question, babe. Okay. Who said I love you first? Oh, Think. this is so hard. <laughs> Stop looking. Your yo, your peripheral vision is next level, and I don't appreciate it. Stop looking. <laughs> is right. I see you, ma'am. The clock is ticking. Okay, here we go. And now we will reveal our answers. What'd you say? No freaking Absolutely way! Absolutely freaking way! You did. I remember the moment. Chicago Wait. Airport. I will never forget this. So uh, you were texting me, and 
You said to me. On a text. On a text message. I don't think that's what Israel, people you said to me on I a text message. I don't think that's what that's people not, are concerned I, you about. You asked me a question. Who is the person that actually said, I love you first? So, okay, when did I say I love you? Um, uh, in Mexico. In the pool. We were singing coritos. Okay. But you did say it. And I, I did. And I cherished that moment. Okay, so now we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna see if we can guess what the other thinks. Israel Houghton. Uh-huh. What does Adrian Houghton think your best physical feature is? Write that down. Oh, I still have to eat these. Okay, hold on. Man. You have so many great features. Whatever. No, I'm, just, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna name you the do, first babe. thing she ever mentioned. Babe, you do, you have so many. One, two, three. Reveal. Manos. Dimples. Oh, fail on my part. <laughs> I did compliment your hands first. first. No, where did first I notice? First day, first day we ever met. You have phenomenal nail Thank bits, you babe. so much, babe. And his hands look like real man hands. I like like manly hands. I love the fact, can we see those hands? I love the fact that he has callus on his uh, from fingers guitar. from playing guitar. I think that's sexy. I'm gonna write down my favorite physical feature of hers. Okay, hold on. You don't know what you think? Why are you unsure of what you think? Because there are so many. Cue John Mayer. Your body is wonderland. <laughs> okay, you got it? Yeah. One. Two, three, reveal. What Bumba. the heck? What? I mean, yeah, but again, this is a daytime show. What? I don't understand what- There are people watching I don't watching want to play this anymore. Daytime. He's not being honest. I am being honest. Israel, when do you ever tell me lips? You always say my hips or my butt, always. See? I love your lips. I'm, I, I'm not ashamed to say her lips are my favorite feature. Thank you. So babe, yes. what is my hidden talent or best stupid, stupid, <laughs> what is my best hidden talent or like stupid human trick? All right, don't look. Here we go. You know you have to write this down oh, too. I have to, of what mine is? Yes! Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. I didn't know I had to write it Babe, too. it's just like the last, he needs okay. coffee. I'm ready. You need theme music. I don't have a song in my heart. Here we go. One, two, three. Let me see. Whistling without moving my mouth. Oh my God, you whistle like Ron Burgundy. There you go. Do it, do Boom. it, do it, do it, do it. I, I know what hers is though, let's go. Baby. When it comes to this, mm -hmm. we are complete opposites. Oh, I got it. Easy. Yo, you messed it up. Stop looking at my thing. That's also one. That's also two, one. three. Reveal. Tem oh, I put both. Temperature I put of the house. both. Yo, I said flying temperature of the house. Okay, Booyah. hold on. I put both. I put both. Look, <laughs> flying. And temperature of the house. Technically, I, both. I cheated, but I still had both. Okay, flying. I'm terrified. This, the freaking plane could be like, like this, and Israel is watching whatever show he's watching. He's chilling. He'll look at me and be like, hey, grooving. Like, no problem. <laughs> I am in the corner. How am I? Terrified calling on Jesus. Yeah. The whole plane could hear her. You be me, I'll be you. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus, 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 thank you, Jesus, I love you, Jesus, I love you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Now where temperature is concerned, I would prefer my house to be at 80 degrees. I grew up in a Caribbean family. I prefer a nice warm home. Comment below where you like to keep your temperature. Is it like my husband, 65? Everyone knows that one of your most overused phrases is love, 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 especially on this show. Yes. I, b I believe in several countries it's a drinking game. Yes, now. that's right. Um, 
What I is one of my most overused statements? Got it. Or words. Or words. All right. Oh, man. Ready? One, two, three. Reveal. Total blank. Israel, you can't play I like that. It's my answer. No, you can't play like that. You have to I, actually give an answer. Come on. I don't have one. You have to get one. Find one. Help me. Call on the Lord. Come on. One, two, three. What is it? I'm just saying. You do say that a lot. I but, do. But you want to know what you say? <laughs> These no. damn markers. All right, sorry. Okay. I do say this a lot. I'm Look, just saying. Look, I got it on my shoe. I know. And I got it on my jean. We're all messed up. Okay. All right. I say the phrase you use the most is what? Mm -hmm. Um, um, uh, um, um. And second, you say, I know, I know. I be knowing. So now anytime he knows something, now he says. I be knowing. No, you say, I, I know, be knowing. I know. And then you sing, I, I be knowing, knowing, I be knowing. Right, there you go. To the tune of. Drunken Love. That's right. If I could only shop at one store, what would it be? Write it down. Store. Is it clothing or not clothing? It's one store. It's just so easy. Wait, maybe, hold on. One, two, three, reveal. Target, I said it. I put Forever 21 too, but. There's that, but like, I feel like Target's the one. Target is the one, that's true. Wait, I have You've, gotten full outfits it's, it's from Target. full contact shopping at Target with her. It's Target. 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 Okay, we are now going to see if Israel knows my shoe size, my dress size, my jean size, and any other sizes he'd like to add to this. My ring size as well, that's a good one. Ring. Ready? Okay. Israel, are you ready? Yep. Try not to look I'm at the board. I'm only questionable about one thing. Okay, ready? One, mm -hmm. two, three. Let's go. Shoes, five. That is correct. Or a 35. Yeah, I am a five, but if it's sneakers, I'm a two and a half in kids. But okay. but all around, I'm, I'm really a size five. Jeans, I put 24. Baby, I used to be a 24. I'm now a 26, sadly. Oh, We're trying to get that. back to 24. Dress, Some 24 still fit me. Thank you. Dress, zero to two, depending on the cut. I am a dress size two. Okay. Uh, and ring size is five and a half. And, and I only know what my ring size is because of him. Yep. I didn't know my ring size. Well done. I'm gonna get back to 24. I got you. I'm 26 right now. Got oh, a little, I like it a though. Little, a little thickums. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, baby. The people want to know what is our song. Too easy. I know. Here we go. Wonderful tonight, Eric Clapton. That's right. Too easy. Too easy. That is our song. If it comes on, it doesn't matter. Oh, that's not true. I know we have another song. The that's other what I was song. Write say. the other song. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Georgia. Georgia is the other song. It, you it's a great go. story. Go. So, uh, one of our very first dates, mm -hmm. it might have been after the Stinking Rose, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. came back to the apartment and um, had vinyls on. And Ray Charles started singing Georgia and I just walked over to her and started slow dancing with her. Craziest fact ever, I had never actually slow danced with a guy before in my entire life. So my first slow dance, like legit, legit, like hold someone and just rock back and forth was with Israel in my apartment listening to Ray Charles sing Georgia on vinyl. And was it, would you say for extra credit here, it was kind of an emotional moment? Yeah, because I got weird and like 10 seconds into doing this closely, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I was like, I don't slow dance. I twerk. So right now we're about to do something I like to call rapid fire. I'm gonna throw out a question and we're gonna quickly write it down and keep it moving. Keep it moving, First people. question, who hogs the covers more? Me. She does. Sure do. Keep going. They get caught up in my legs. Next question. Who controls the remote control in this house? Israel. He does. Yeah. No question. What is Israel handiest at around the house? He's handiest at calling for help. <laughs> I was saying the AC unit, because I could do it from my phone. 
Oh, that too. Sometimes he's out of the country and I'm home and I'm cold and I have to text him and tell him, babe, she I know you're- She won't get out of the bed. She'll be like, can you please change the temperature? <laughs> I know and you're in Nigeria. Dubai, yeah. I know you're in Dubai, but can you change I'm the temperature? I'm changing the temperature in our room. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. What is the one thing that we'd most likely argue about? Yeah, we already discussed it. Temperature. Oh, that is true. That is true. The temperature. I was slow on writing. You were. I, I was going to say attention. I'd be wanting all your attention. Yeah, but we don't argue about that because I like you having all my attention. That's true. Our celebrity crushes. One, two, three. J-Lo. You didn't write down oh, mine. Oh, Jack Nicholson, sorry. Yeah, duh. J-Nick. Why do both ours? J-Nick and J-Lo. That's right. I don't know why, but I actually think that sometimes you, you could look like Jack Nicholson because your eyebrows can do like... Oh, more marker. Thanks for that. What beauty or grooming product can neither of us live without? We actually, both of us, use a lot of the same, like our toiletries for our beauty products are the same. I could tell you the top three, but I know the one that we always need is one, two, three, lip balm. Boom. Nobody likes chapped lips around here. Remember, his favorite part of my body is, is my lips. The lips. You know why? Because they be saying so smooth. Which of us is the bigger baby when they're sick? Ooh. He is. You are the biggest, you, you. I own it. Yes. I am the biggest baby. Yes. This man acts dancing. like he's dying. But That's because I'm only sick like maybe once every year. Yeah, that is true. You rarely ever get sick. But can I be honest? But it knocks me out, man. And do I like it? Yeah, that's, I like that's it. why I play to it, because she's I like the it when best he's nurse sick. ever. I take care of him, and then we just stay in the bed all day, <laughs> all night, and then I pretend I'm sick too. <laughs> then we can be sick together. together. I don't know about you, but I feel good about this challenge. I feel like we did pretty well. I feel like I kind of sucked, honestly. That's but just because you're not awake. I'm now awake. It's can early we, in the morning, by the way. Can we do it again? Let us know, number one, in the what below? Comments below. Let us know if you are not a morning person, which he is not. And two, again, let us know, when do you watch these videos? When do you watch All Things Adrian, in the morning or in the night? And do you love, love, love it? Oh my gosh. We had so much fun doing this. Let us know if you've done this with your significant other, your spouse. Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Boom. Love you guys.